This is the place where the corpses of the prisoners shot dead while trying to escape were often displayed as a warning to others. This is a death camp where some 1.2 million people lost their lives during the First World War. Let us not forget, God bless their souls. On the 7th of October 1941, a camp was established in Auschwitz for Soviet prisoner of war. About 10,000 men were registered as prisoners and held in a special fenced off compound comprising of blocks 1 to 3, 12 to 14, 22 to 24. Most of them died of hunger, hard work and SS brutality. Many others were gassed, shot or ordered of a special Gestapo commission. Those who refused to work were forced naked out of their blocks in the freezing winter weather and doused in water, as a result of which many froze to death. Now we're passing between two perimeter fences that separated the different blocks. Some people did escape to tell the story, but many others lost their lives. If you can just imagine what this would have been like when it was open, sheer terror and fright. German soldiers posted in sentry boxes, watching over the prisoners. This is the barbed wire, which many prisoners would have put their hands on. The actual barbed wire remains. And as you can see, the barbed wire itself was electrified. Anyone touching this wire would have received an electric shock. When the SS took over the pre-war Polish garrison in 1940, they used the 20, mostly one, storey buildings for the prisoners. As the number of inmates increased, the SS decided to enlarge the camp. In spring 1941, Construction began of eight new buildings, now blocks four to seven, 15 to seven and 18, and a second story for 14 others. All the work was done by prisoners rather than by construction machinery, supervised by the SS and the prisoner overseers named Kapos, who beat them at the slightest opportunity. They dug foundations, carried blocks and bags of cement and pushed wheelbarrows full of gravel and sand. Many died as a consequence. This is a map of concentration camps and ghettos. The red dots were concentration camps and the yellow dots were ghettos. Let us not forget the participation of Polish armed forces and the anti-Nazi coalition 1940 to 1945. We're in the Polish bloc. These are some of the actual garments worn by the Polish prisoners of war. These are some of the books with the names of the Polish prisoners that lost their lives in this godforsaken place. just too many to count. These were actual records from the camp prison. This is a map from where Jews and prisoners and other nationalities were deported to Auschwitz. We go from Oslo to Paris. Down to Bucharest. As far as filled as Corfu. In block four, these are the actual ashes of people who died in Birkenhau, Auschwitz II. These ashes were collected just after the camp was closed 
1940 to 1945. The people were selected on the railway platform. Those to be gassed were assured that they were going to take a bath. Dummy showers were fixed to the ceiling. They were held by dogs. 2,000 victims were crammed into a chamber, 210 square metres, approximately 235 square yards. In the area, the chamber door was locked and the gas was poured in. After 15 to 20 minutes, the chamber was opened, corpses were stripped of gold, teeth, hair, earrings, rings, on then transported to the crematory. Victims' personal documents were destroyed, leaving no evidence. Many of the prisoners would have viewed the scene below from this window. These are some of the fragments of the insulation from the crematoria and gas chambers of Auschwitz. These are indeed the actual doors. These are the cans which contained Cyclone B used for killing in the gas chambers. These cans are genuine. From the 26th of March 1942 until mid-August of that year, blocks 1 to 10 were used as a camp for women prisoners. It was separated from the men's camp by a high wall. About 17,000 women, Jewish and non-Jewish, had been deported from Germany and throughout German-occupied Europe were housed here. During these four months, a few thousand women were sent to gas chambers or died as a result of their conditions in the camp. For example, starvation, rampant epidemics, lack of, lack of sanitary facilities and slave labour. Those who were still alive in August 1942 were transferred to the new main women's camp in Sector B1, Auschwitz II, Birkenhau. This is a material evidence block, evidence of war crimes. Subsequently, I'm not allowed to film in here due to the sensitive nature, but behind me we have glass cabinets full of spectacles, shoes, artificial limbs, various other items that belong to the prisoners. This is block 10, where 700 women prisoners, mainly Jewish, were held in two upstairs rooms of this block and were used as human guinea pigs for sterilization experiments conducted by Dr. Professor Klauberg, a German gynaecologist, from April 1943 to May 1944. Some of them died from the treatment they received. Others were murdered so that autopsies could be performed on them. Those who survived were left with permanent injuries. Other SS doctors also conducted experiments on women in this block. This is the wall of death. This is block 28. This was the hospital for the prisoners, which seems a bit of a contradiction. This is Auschwitz 1. This is the plan of the layout, all the blocks. You can see clearly the numbers of the block. We're stood out the front of block 28. Some of the most horrific images in mankind's history 
were brought to us from this location. Let us not forget the people who lost their lives in this location. This is the booth where SS men responsible for conducting the roll call and collecting reports on the number of prisoners took shelter during the inclement weather. Now we're at Auschwitz II, Birkenhau. This is the railhead that used to bring the trains into the death camp. This yellow area, what you can see, is just this area which we're looking at now. Where we were stood with the railway wagon is just up here. If you look down the side of the wagon, you can see where the railhead passes through the gate and behind me terminates the railhead. This is the site of a mass grave where the ashes of the people lie. As you can see, the frogs have taken advantage of the water. This is what's left of the crematorium incinerators. Just behind there, where we were just a minute ago, were the, where the pools of water were, where the bodies were disposed of in the mass graves. Seems appropriate to finish the video here. And then looking down towards the entrance of the camp.